I'm not sure if I've made a video on one of these before. I mean, I know I've made one on at least maybe two or three on the, on the Bonnevilles. But uh, never a Catalina, I don't think. I have to go back and look. But yeah, man. 1978 Pontiac Catalina. Obviously, you can see the windows there. It's a Mordor. And, uh, it would have been nicer, it would have been the, uh, the, the Bonneville, Bonneville's, you know, the, a little better, a nicer. <laughs> that, that back glass has been out for a while, you can tell. Got little dings and whatnot, pretty much all over the body. Her time was almost up, man. I think the Catalina, I think I read, was like 81 was the last year of these things. The ornament's still there. The, uh, the grill looks to be in decent shape. Bumper don't look too bad. Impact strip. Yeah, it's falling off on that side, but it's... Oops. Decently. There. <laughs> Trunk got a bunch of dents in it on the, the oops. Trunk, eh, you know, just a bunch of odds and ends in it. How's the tail lights? Cracked. That one looks to be okay. Back bumper looks nice. Guess that would have been a nice color. A maroon. Didn't want to close it because uh somebody broke the broke the key it wasn't me <laughs> so if I close it I don't know if I can open it again <sighs> these, these were B bodies pretty sure these were B bodies we got that yeah it had to be it's got that 7.5 10 bolt of course these don't have the spids or RPO codes and she's a one wheelie pilly Pretty bare bonish, man. Pretty bare bonish. Let's see what we got up. What we got here? Ah, was this? Nah, could that have been on the road still? I don't think this. Well, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe it was on the road till recently. It's got a big old hole on that side. Look at that. We got Fred Flintstone going on right there. Yep. We got even, I don't even think we got SM, do we? <laughs> or do we? What's that mile of reading? 26,000? I'm pretty sure it's probably 226,000. No tilt. This might have, this was, looks like it was changed. That steering column. Of course, the Bonnevilles had like the full gauges, I believe. Straight up full bench. Yep, all manual, man. Power nothing. Let's see if we can get that, that van. Oh, I'll take a quick look underneath here. I think the only thing wrong with this car is just that those front, yeah, front floor pans. Outside of that, pretty solid. <sighs> pretty solid car. That windshield's in good shape too. I don't think that windshield's got a crack in it. Of course, those you could fit yeah, if you box Chevy or whatnot. I, know I took one of these out for my my brother's 85, 84. 
Oldsmobile Delta 88. She still got a poncho in her. Although this would be the uh, teeny weeny itty bitty poncho. Baby poncho. Two barrel. Yeah, she's a it's that 301, I believe. I think it's can't, can't tell here because they have to rip that part off. I see 1978 there, but uh, yeah, because of the VIN saying why, I believe that that would denote it's a a two barrel a two barrel 301 in these years. I think they built three no what was that how many was that oh man i can't remember how many was it forty-four thousand of these in this year oh crap 30 something i can't remember now maybe the google man will be able to see what it was i don't forgot what the i saw it on there then i oh well oh let me get that uh where's that data tag at i think it's over here isn't it Like the way these things are here because you know. let's see let's see how much we can get here well all right people that's uh i mean what else is there to say about this thing <laughs> not much no that hood's got a bunch of things in her yeah I mean, a few good parts, I guess, left on this. Somebody needed something, but not much, I could say. Well, I guess that'll do her. All right, people, on to the next one.